where you'll go from web to app developer in just one day with PhoneGap. This is Chapter 5, Testing, Ads, Android, and Stores. I've packed a lot of tips into this chapter, but we'll start with a technique for beta testing and we'll fix some bugs that my testers found. Then we'll talk about integrating ads into your PhoneGap application with AdMob. You haven't seen it working yet on Android, so we'll cover what needs to be done to make that happen. We'll then discuss submitting to the app stores and some things you should know before you try to print money with your application. This is my favorite chapter, since at the end of it you can start making money, but it's also the longest, so let's get started. From the home page, you simply paste the script where you want the ad to render. In this case, I'll put it above the home page scrolling list of notes, but below the app header. Now this is run again, the ad will open up in the browser as you'd expect. Finally, you'll pick submit. After your app has been uploaded, you'll receive several messages from iTunes that let you know your app is moving through the automated parts of the review process. When you receive the waiting for review email, you can simply start waiting, because you won't hear about it for another week or so, which gives you time to work on an Android version. If you've been following along in iOS development land with Xcode, here's a quick overview of Eclipse. In the quick demo, I can open the application, check out the About page, head back over to the home screen, choose to add a new note, enter some note text, save the note and go back to the home screen, and delete the note. It all pretty much works the same as you last saw in the iOS simulator, however, something you'll learn is that just like writing web apps for different browsers, you'll have to add some tweaks for each additional platform you intend to support.